Promises to Kids, an organization helping foster kids, is now looking for mentors for the back-to-school season. Joining me now, live for more on this, is CEO of Promises to Kids, Tanya Tarosian. I want to say, first of all, thank you for everything you do for these kids. They certainly can use the help, and they can certainly use mentors. Thank you. I appreciate you allowing us to come on and, and speak to the need, because I, I know with back to school, we're always looking for opportunities to get involved now that summer's over, and it's a perfect time to get involved to mentor a young person. How does somebody get involved in this? Because there are so many kids out there who could really use a big brother or a big sister or somebody to kind of help guide them down the road, because a lot of them have had pretty tough pasts. Yeah, so a lot of the children, we have two different areas of age uh, that we're looking to pair with mentors. So first are uh, foster children who are under the age of 18, so they're between five and 18 years, and it is more of that big brother, big sister kind of mentorship. Um, and then the other group is really as uh, young people are leaving foster care and uh, forging their way into young adulthood, we need mentors to sort of guide them and coach them in that aspect of their life. So, if somebody wants to become a mentor, what do what kind of mindset do they need? How do you talk to these kids? Do you give them a little bit of training, and so that way they are very sensitive? Because, yes. like I said before, a lot of these kids have had it pretty tough. Yeah. So we start with an orientation. You can find all the information on our website of how to start the process, um, application, screening, and then we provide all the training, um, both the initial training on trauma-informed treatment, how to be a coach, how to support their needs, and then ongoing training throughout the year commitment that you make that kind of uh, can coach you. We have case managers who can help you problem solve if you run into any um, situations that you need extra um, guidance on. What if uh, it's a situation where somebody wants to mentor, but they don't have a lot of time? <laughs> Do you have to mentor a certain amount of days, or how does that whole process work? Yeah, so for children who are in foster care, so the younger ones up to age 18, we ask that you meet with them every week. Um, uh, really have that consistency, relationship building, um, so that's a more time commitment. Uh, and then those that are more transitioning into college career uh, is making sure that they meet with them at least once a month in person. The other can be a text, a call, just sort of, I'm here to support you. Um, both of instances, because foster children have had so much transition, we ask for a commitment of one year. You know, I think it's fantastic, especially for these kids who could really use that big brother or big sister. Uh, before we go, can you talk a little bit about not only the satisfaction that you feel by being a mentor and helping these kids, but the kids themselves and how it changes them for the better? Yeah, so, so many of these young people have never had one person, um, an adult positive role model that can spend dedicated time just on them as a volunteer. They've had case managers or therapists, but they haven't had that coach or or mentor. So for them, it's really just about even being seen and being heard and feeling like you have somebody in your corner. And as a mentor, just being there and showing up really can change the life of a child. It just gives them purpose. Well, I'm glad your organization is in their corner, and thank you so much for joining us right now, and I really appreciate it. If you want to be a mentor, uh, I think it'd be fantastic. It's easy. Just contact uh, Promises to Kids, right? That's correct. All the info's on our website, so start there. Awesome. Thank you, Tanya, so much for joining us. Thank you for everything you do. Yes. Teresa, we'll go ahead and send it back to you. It's always great to have Tanya here. Tony, thank you. I mean,